Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Here's a quick little cracker of a tutorial looking at a maths concept using Explain Everything and the Eden app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a blank document in uh, Explain Everything. I'm going to bring in a picture that I just found off Google search and it's just of some grid paper. And what I'm going to do is press the I, press the grid pa paper once and set the grid paper as a background. Now I'm going to choose my pen tool, hold my finger down, yeah I'll select a quite a biggish one here, maybe select red, and I'm going to design a little area and perimeter type activity. This could be a little swimming pool for example, and I would get the kids to actually uh, start to do the calculations on some grid paper first. Um, so that might be uh, six meters, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's actually eight. So I'll just redo that. Uh, so that could be eight meters by one, two, three, four, five meters. We can do some calculations there. We can do some area, which is eight times five is 40 meters squared. We could look at the perimeter as well and do some calculations and so forth on grid paper. Now we could do this on physical grid paper. We wouldn't, we don't have to use explain everything but I'm just trying to use the digital and app smash a little bit with different apps. Now once the students have actually designed something, you could design a house, swimming pool, whole range of different things. To take it a step further, you might actually go into three dimensions and actually look at volume um, and look at depth as well. But for this activity, we'll just do this. Um, then we simply jump into Eden. So the students have planned uh, their uh, shape or their thing that they're actually going to build. Eden is very, very similar in regard to Minecraft. I would have to scaffold the skills, actually give them a little bit of a tutorial first before I did this. Um, but there you can see, I might jump out of that and start a new one. So we'll add a new world. Uh, we'll pick a flat one, we won't pick normal. And then it's a case of just hitting the actual pickaxe and actually doing our measurements. So I think it was eight by five, so we might go eight along there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll go by uh, four in width, one, whoops, one, two, three, four, and we can move around at the same time, obviously, to do our building, and what we're actually doing is counting the squares. We've got kind of eight by five in regard to our swimming pool, Fantastic, the kids actually love this and will actually do it beautifully. And so what we're actually doing is consolidating area and perimeter by actually doing the building of an eight by five swimming pool. Uh, we could bring in volume and actually go deep and actually go down um, another level uh, and look at length times width uh, times depth as well. Um, they could do a range of different things. They could then actually go back and actually design um, uh, some pool fences or a diving board. They could do a range of different things by just using these two apps. Uh, let me go back to explain everything here. And if I go back to that, they could actually design um, a pool fence with a certain perimeter around the outside do the calculations for that as well. Uh, we could do diving boards and have a look at the actual area and surface area of that as well. Um, we could start to build upwards and actually look at uh, buildings around. You could do house plans. You could do a range of different things. But there's two really, really simple apps that kids can start to explore. Uh, length, um, area, perimeter, uh, volume, um, looking at a range of different things, just using these two fantastic apps. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.